Speaker, I want to thank my uh, beloved colleague and my friend for yelling. I would like to thank our colleague, Mr. Scott, for organizing this special order tribute to a great man, to a wonderful human being. Madam Speaker, I rise to recognize Senator Johnny Atkinson, a son of Atlanta, Georgia. Senator Atkinson is a special man. He is a good man. I want to thank him for his years of service in the Georgia State Legislature, in the United States House of Representatives, and now in the United States Senate. On February the 25th, 1999, I introduced Johnny as the newest member of the Georgia Congressional Delegation to the House of Representatives. He came to Congress as a graduate of the University of Georgia and a successful businessman. Before coming to Congress, he served as a member of the Georgia Air National Guard, the State House Minority Leader, a State Senator, and as the Chair of the State Board of Education. On that day, I said, he brought a wealth of knowledge with him. I explained to our colleagues that in his decades of public service in our home state, Johnny delivered a reputation or developed a great reputation as a bridge builder, a man who has strong belief but also willing to work with others to get things done. Very quickly, members of the House and Senate discover how true this was. This senator does not make a lot of a noise, but he has the ability and the power, the capacity to speak to power. When Jenny served in the House of Representatives, we always found a way to come together, and we continue that tradition when he was elected to the Senate. Over the years, we worked together on many, many issues, like transportation, water, housing, and veteran affairs. We always found a way to get along and to do the good work that people deserve. And time and time again, he stood with a us. He worked with us to uplift African American in the state of Georgia, to recognize individuals like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Jackie Robinson, native of Georgia. He did not just talk the talk, he literally walked the walk. Senator, you not only supported the reauthorization of the Voting Rights Act in 2006, but a few years later, he even co-led the congressional delegation to Selma, Alabama. I want to say thank you for all of your good and great work. Those of us who know you will agree that you're always thoughtful and mindful, a warm and welcome gentleman in the truest sense of the word. For two decades, you, Senator, led a team that could cross the aisle without compromising your values. When our constituent came over for a meeting with you and your staff, they felt heard and respected. I hope you do not mind, but I would like to share a moment that stand out for me and will always stand out for me as long as I live to this very day. One morning before I was scheduled to read the 13th Amendment on the House floor, you asked me to come and speak with your staff about service and my own experiences. We had an honest and thoughtful discussion. It was one of the most meaningful, memorable experience for my years in the Congress. I carry my heart to this very day, to this very moment. What you said, I believe 20 years have passed since 
I stood on the very floor to introduce you to Congress. As you return to private life with your beloved wife, Diane, of 51 years, and your wonderful, beautiful children and grandchildren, I would like to thank you, Johnny, for your years of service. I would like to thank you for the service to our state, our nation. I wish you health and happiness, and take some time to enjoy a beautiful and wonderful life in the state of Georgia. You have been very good to the people of the state of Georgia, and I'm lucky enough and just blessed really to, to call you a friend and a brother. Thank you so much. Madam Speaker, it is almost difficult to yield back the time when I speak of this good and great leader from the state of Georgia. Thank you, brother, for your service. I will come over and meet you, brother. Madam Speaker, I wish all of America 